So uh, welcome to the June 16th, uh, 2021 Town of Austin Planning Board meeting. And uh, why don't we start with some introductions and let's go in the order that uh, you're on my screen, starting with Sandy. Sandy Anelli, Secretary. Uh, Margaret. Margaret Kahn, Secretary. Valerie. Valerie, I'm an Astro Planning Consultant to the Planning Board. Donna. Donna Sharrett, um, Planning Board member. Uh, Jim. Jim Bocinas, Planning Board member. Dan. Dan Ciarcia, Consulting Engineer of the Planning Board. Christy. Christy Adana, Attorney, filling in for Kathy Zalantis. Carolyn. Carolyn Stevens, Planning Board member. And Jesus. Jesus Lopez, planning board member. Welcome all. Uh, the first item on the agenda tonight is uh, the um, uh, King development at 540 North State Road. Is the applicant present? I don't believe they've signed on. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, why don't we, um, we'll move on to the second uh, item on the agenda then. Uh, Mark Seiden, 49 Croton Dam Road, architectural review for uh, some uh, field change, uh, field changes. Um, Mark, would you like to uh, take the screen and uh, describe the changes? We, we got your, um, your submission and your, your uh, uh, hand-drawn changes. Yes, thank you. I'd love to share the screen. Thank you. And Gareth, congratulations on being chairman. Thank you. Sandy, uh, can, um, can Mark take the screen? Yes, he can. Okay. You know how to use the share screen, Mark? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so just um, uh, quickly in general, um, obviously, as we're building things, we, we notice a few things that we can do a little better. Or, or change a little bit. So um, this is just uh, the memo. Um, basically what we're looking to do is add a second floor hallway from the main house to the garage. So that's number one. So I'm not gonna go through all of these in, in this order because it'd be better, I think, if I just kind of show you the photos one by one, if I can do that. Yeah. So, so one is, um, actually, you know what? Let me show you the photo before I show you the plan. Uh, photos of windows area for second floor hallway. Okay. So right now, obviously, um, this uh, green area here is where the window is going to come out. And it's going to be- I'm not seeing it. Oh, you're not? All right. So let me change the screen share then because all the pop out sometimes change. So hold on a second. Stop share and reshare. Okay. So this window which is currently a window to my house now, we were gonna take this window and we're actually gonna put it here facing this way. So what we were doing is once we were kind of building the, you know, the garages and the second floor and everything, um, the contractor, the framer, the uh, uh, mason, pretty much everybody came to me and said, you know, why don't you just put a second floor on this hallway and just create also an access from our master bedroom to go right to this recreation room area because a large part of this recreation room area on this second floor, we were gonna put an in-home gym. So instead of going through, you know, go all the way downstairs and go up that and go all the way through the family room and then go all the way to behind the garage, and then go all the way up the stairs, you could have your own little mini access right here. And it really isn't that much more construction. And from a per bird's eye view, it's practically, you wouldn't see anything, but it's really just going to a second floor above this hallway and then taking this and making this uh, a door. So that's kind of what all this was. So this would be to make this window, you know, go up a second floor here and I'll show you the plan. Make this window a doorway. We would go across and then into this roof line and, you know, we would go into the roof axis over here. Um, and you can see it a little better here that we would just kind of do an opening right in this roof line, really not change the rest of the roof line, but just kind of go in here. So that really um, is the only, you know, uh, additional construction that we were looking to do. 
while we were looking to do that, we also wanted to reuse some of the windows here. So instead of throwing them into the trash because they're perfectly good windows, we really decided that because um, we were going to recycle this window and put it here, that um, there were actually three, which you didn't see before, but there were three windows that were in my original garage that I saved. And then I'd have this fourth window here. So we really wanted to reuse the windows instead of just creating more trash. So what we did is we looked at where the window sites could be, which again, which would be easier for me to show you on the plan, but this is technically the window areas that's actually already the current view for my pre-existing window uh, from the second floor from my bedroom uh, going out. So we're actually just talk, taking about taking this window and again, just pushing it out and continue that window. Um, this structure that you actually see here through the trees is actually not a house. That's um, uh, Pacucci's uh, detached uh, garage. This is his house. So it barely uh, sees his house. Um, this would be a, a second floor view. Now going the other way, we wanna add a window from the second floor new hallway to overlook my patio, which really overlooks my new shed bar. So basically you don't really see anything for the other house. It's pretty well blocked. And then this is uh, an additional view that we'd be looking to look from the second floor, but it's actually uh, further in towards the garage. So again, the only view that you really see would be my neighbor Pacucci's uh, two car garage. And part of your package is I already have a signed letter with all the attachments. So all the attachments that you see here, I had him sign the letter and initial every attachment already giving his pre-approval for this because it's basically not impacting this house at all. But since you face this way, I did it in advance. So that's kind of what it looks like from pictures. What it looks like on the plans. Oh. Uh, plans. Okay. Stop share. Reshare. Okay. You all see the plans? Yeah. Okay. So this is the first floor. There's no change. But basically what we're doing is just looking to put a second floor onto this hallway section. So again, from a bird's eye view, you practically wouldn't see any difference at all. Uh, I have a question. When you keep, um, you keep referring to as the second floor and the question that, because is, are you putting a whole nother floor onto? Well, the garage already has a second floor to it. So the garage has a rec room second floor on it already. And my house already has a second floor, but this hallway that we had here was only a one level hallway just on the first floor. Did I lose you? Let me go back to the picture. Hold on. Well, I think we're trying to figure, I mean, in terms of you know whether this is a substantial change more right. than a field change. Okay, so this is the first floor hallway. This is the second floor of the house. You're not seeing it. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that. Give me one second. Um, okay. This is the second floor of my house that's pre-existing. This is the second floor of the of an of finished recreation space that's already approved by the Airbnb and the building department. So this is already going to be finished recreation space of above the garage. So this is already approved to be finished second floor. This is already finished second floor. So the only second floor addition we're looking is putting on a second floor hallway over this first floor hallway just to attach this part of the house to this part of the house. It's already attached on the first floor we're just looking to put a second level on it to attach what's already being attached from the first floor to also just also be able to attach it on the second floor. That's all we're looking to do. I have a just a quick question. Was the first um, first floor attachment a uh, heated uh, attachment? Yes. Or was it a walkway? No, this is all heated. Okay. 
100 percent heated finished living space okay so this is heated finished living space so we're looking just to go on a second floor to heated finished living space just to bring this up it actually it's not even going to go up this far it would only go up this far so go up here and just attach it here on the already approved first floor heated living space hallway does that make okay. more sense valerie it, it, it does but go ahead christy it, I, yeah i don't think it was ever i don't want to speak for valerie i don't think it was ever really about it making sense as opposed to whether this is a field change or a change to the plans that would require amended approval <laughs> acquire whose approval amended arb approval Uh, I'm a little confused. Uh, I, I mean, I, I'm. You said amended A or B approval. Is that what you said? Yes. Right. That's why I'm here. Right. Well, so we allow. This we allow being. Sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead, Christy. That's that's not the way it was presented on the agenda, and um, th this is being treated as a field change, just kind of for notice purposes, was my understanding. Um, but if this is an amended approval, then it's just an additional process step of, I would say, holding another public hearing. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Uh, right, I'm so not... the board allows certain field changes, which are not, you know, if you're changing some windows, that type of thing, but if you're adding like a whole nother floor. Well, I'm only a, adding, adding a connection. floor. Right, I'm only adding a floor to the connection. I'm not adding another floor to the house that's already pre-existing or the, or the garage. And I'm not adding a second floor to the house I'm just adding a second floor attachment from the first floor attachment. I think we understand that. It's it's just still the fact that it's, it's a change to the plans that increases the structure that you're going to be building um, in front of a board that is supposed to be looking at the visual impacts. Uh, I think it would make sense. Uh, even for yourself, Mark, to have a, um, a, a rendering of some kind, uh, I think. I have that. I, oh, you have that. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I, I have that. That's what I was going to show you. Okay, go ahead. Uh, where is it? Uh, let me stop sharing and then I'll reshare. Stop sharing and then reshare. Okay, so that's what I was that's what I was showing. So this is the this is the area on the first floor. This is the area that we're looking to add just on the second floor, just here, because this is already pre-existing approved recreation room, and this is already pre-existing house. So we're just talking about putting a second floor on this little small part of the hallway. Yeah, that's clear. Um, so th these are now the drawings that I had the architect draw out that this is how, how it would look from the front um, because we're not putting a window in the front. So uh, uh, I, wish, I wish I could turn this. I don't think I can really turn this, um, but this is how it would look from the front. So, so from the regular roof line, you'd see it obviously be sticking out closer to the driveway but if you were literally further back in the driveway, this scene isn't that much different than what's there now. Um, this is how it would look on the side. So this is the first floor that's already there, which would also have a roof line. I, I guess I should have probably showed you what the roof line was gonna be on the fl first floor initially, but this is the section that you would net, that we're looking to add just onto the, um, first floor area here. Oh, I see with the peaked roof there. That's right. So, but we were doing kind of a peaked roof on here anyway. So we were kind of coming up with a, with a peaked roof over the first floor anyway. So now we're just going to add this area hallway. Cause you can see, we're not taking this wall and going up and then adding a peak roof. We're actually just starting here just enough to create another hallway out of that same window, just to be able to go into here. So this peaked roof is very, I'm not going to say exact because it's not, 
well, it was very similar to the original plans anyway, because we were doing a nice peaked roof over this first floor. So now we're just modifying it in order to just get a little bit more finished space just to create a hallway. Um, you have an isometric view by chance? I've seen these. I was wondering if you had a, when I said rendering, they, I mean, they, these are okay. Um, I'm, I was just a little worried about sort of the, the, the overall massing of it and it's hard to visualize. Uh, it definitely changes that, um, but let me not speak before. Yeah, I mean, this is all I have. So this is, this is the left elevation, um, which again shows the, um, you know, all the finished space and the, and the double doors, you know, that was originally gonna be here and there was a, gonna be another roof in this area. And then instead it just attaches right into that roof. So this roof line actually doesn't change at all. We're actually just going into that roof, keeping this roof line exactly the same. Okay, uh, do um, uh, Valerie, uh, you have further thoughts? I, I think it probably would be best if we notice this, you know, and call for public hearing and then have it, you know, have the board actually approve it next month if the board is in favor of this, um, because I think this is more than a, just a field change. Okay, Christy? I agree. Um, you know, I, I haven't heard from the majority of the board on this yet, um, but I just from a precedent perspective, I think it would be more appropriate to handle this as an amended approval as opposed to a field change. Okay. Uh, from the board, uh, Jim, as the architect on the board, we're looking to you. <laughs> I was inclined to think it was a uh relatively minor given that we're not increasing footprints and we're just building on top of something that was already approved. But uh, I don't want to step on any legal toes here. But if, uh, we certainly don't want to create any precedents that uh, uh, come back later. So you'd be, uh, you'd be if, okay. If the rest of the board thought it was a minor, minor change, I'd go along with it. But uh, okay. I don't want to conflict with a, the legal opinion. Donna, what, what are your thoughts? Uh, I'm just having trouble, maybe because it's on, I know you sent the stuff, but I'm just having trouble visualizing it. And that's just, um, it, it might just be me. Because <laughs> um, I'm having, it just, it doesn't seem like a lot, like Jim said, but yet it, but yet it is changing it. Um, so perhaps it would be, I mean, I would defer to what, uh, I'd like to hear what Carolyn has to say too, but I think it would be helpful if I was looking right now, first of all, not on the side, and I know you can't do anything about that, but um, I have it here, but comparing what was before and what's now, was there a way to do that? There is, I would just need a couple of minutes to find that on my stuff to bring it up. You're saying it was a peak roof and, um, but I, but I also really respect um, what Valerie and Christy is, are saying, and I would, I would always want to um, follow their advice. So. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I have the original one. If you want me to bring that up, so just for schnizzes and gigs, I can. Um, again, unfortunately, because it's on eight and a half by 11, it's kind of on the side. So this was, do you guys see where I am right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this was actually the root, the original roof line, um, that was going to be there for the first floor anyway. So the first floor roof was always going to be tied in this way to the sec, to the second floor roof in the first place. Now we're just looking, but with no entrance, obviously, because no one is that short to be able to walk in this way. But this peaked roof area that you can see in this area was already going to be tied into the roof. The new plans really just have this raising up and just tying it into it basically over here so we can walk through. And then so so and this showed on both sides. So you can kind of see on this side how it was going up and then peaked 
down on the other side. So there was always a peaked roof here. And then we always had this peaked roof decoration. We just got rid of the windows, but we always had this peaked roof decoration here. And you always had this peaked roof going on both sides already going into this structure. Um, maybe I can do this side it by does, side. It does, what you're proposing now does look a lot larger. Well, it is only because you need headroom. So basically what this roof right, so does- Right, so I do think it is a bigger, a bigger change than just like, you know, changing windows. Okay. So. All right. Uh, others in the board? Carolyn, Jesus? I was gonna say that I, I, from an architectural point of view, I, I, think it's a, I think it's a good change for them and I don't regard it as terribly significant. However, um, you know, I'm gonna to defer to, to um, Christy and Valerie if they feel that this, is, that this is a big enough change that it sets uh, a precedent that we don't want moving forward, so. Um, it's really just one, you know, one additional procedural step of coming to another meeting and noticing it. And then if the board is inclined to approve it, then you're completely free to do so. Jesus, any thoughts on this? Uh, um, I, I agree with Jim, it's not a big change, but I'm gonna also um, respect the opinion of legal and Barbie, so. Okay, yeah. so, um, do, uh, do I have a motion from someone to put this to um, uh, public hearing at the next meeting or the next available meeting? I'll make that motion. I second. Second. Okay. Uh, so that would be, uh, Mark, do you think you could have that for a July 21st meeting? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, obviously I can, um, just in the middle of construction. So this is... Um, but it is what it is. It's a shame because I did ask when I was submitting this if I should, if we had to go through this whole procedure and I was told not necessarily, we thought it was just gonna be a field change. So I'm gonna lose a month, which is when you're in middle of construction, as you guys know, it, it's a little challenging, but uh, you know, I have to do what you guys say, I guess. Okay, um, so I uh, had a, a, a second on that. Do we have a, a Donna, how do you vote? Yes. Uh, Jim? Reluctantly, yes. <laughs> Jesus? Yes. Carolyn? Yes. Okay, and I vote yes as well. Uh, I do have a request uh, for Mark. Um, I think it would be really helpful if you could have your architect uh, prepare an isometric view uh, of that so we can really see it maybe even in a couple of different ways. Um, you know, since it's creating an L uh, in the build in the two buildings together, um, unless they are going to be considered a single building now, that that I'm not sure of. That's probably a legal question. Uh, but anyway, uh, for visualizing, I think that would really help. Uh, would you be able to provide that? I'll ask him. Sure. Okay. Great. Isometric view. Okay. Um, so there's so not recommend much work. Uh, may I recommend that the the plans? So the plans that were submitted, every every space on that plan says proposed. So there was clearly certain space that was already approved. Mm -hmm. You know, then um, so it would probably be good just to specifically highlight what area is being amended from the original um, approved plans. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. But uh, sorry for the delay, but yeah, we have to do it. Uh, thank you, Mark, uh, very much. Uh, yeah. Unless you have any further closing comments. No, so, so this is the one where I need to talk to Sandy about getting the, um, the labels and sending letters out and everything. Is that correct? Yes, I can do that with you, Mark. Okay. Did, did you want to mention another change to the... Oh, Archie. right, yeah. The outbuilding, the other building, the, the bar. Oh, uh, the shed bar, yeah. I, um, yeah, let's see if I can find that. 
Yeah, well, the only, th I'll share in a second. Hold on, I'm in the wrong um, tiny board meeting folder, so just give me a second. Ah, uh, yeah, let me share some. Uh, again, I'm going to have to scan these in a way where when I show these, there will be uh, not sideways so our heads don't have to go. The only thing I was looking to do here, uh, the architect just um, had changed. Well, I guess I'll, I'll go to my other field changes that I'm looking to do also. Um, so on the shed bar, uh, my architect made a mistake on these plans and started to put um, horizontal um, siding and it's not it's still the vertical barn siding which was approved before so that's why I have my blue on here that was a mistake by the architect the only change that I'm asking to do on the shed bar is um, I'm not too sure which direction I want to go yet but instead of doing a regular asphalt you know roof like everything else is I wanted to do something a little bit different and possibly do a thatched roof so this is supposed to be what a thatched roof looks like but I can show you exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to thatched roof. Um, uh, while Mark's bringing that up, does uh, anyone know if thatched roofs are uh, approvable uh, from a fire standpoint or anything like that? I mean, they're beautiful, sure. Well, they, they all have fire ratings and things like that from, I mean, it's not like, you know, just dried leaves coming from Polynesia. These are all like, what I, lack of a better expression, kind of commercial grade. We're not talking about, um, uh, you know, uh, the, the cheap stuff, as we say. So this is kind of, this is kind of what we're talking about is that kind of roof. And the other change on the shed bar was also to change it from my originally uh, did the cottage red, which was the original color of the house, but we thought it would look a little bit nicer and not so bold on the property. If I did Yukon green, which is another color that I already have on my generator shed. So I already have that color on my generator shed. So I just thought to change the shed bar from red to green to make it a little bit less out there. And just to see if I can change the, the, um, the roofing material from asphalt to thatched if I can get some sort of fire rated one per code. Okay, um, and if it wasn't for the question of the, the fire coating, I, I would ask Valerie and Christy how they felt about allowing this to go forward as a field change while the main change, you know, would go through the, uh, through the hearing process. Uh, but given that there's a question about the rating, we probably ought to wait uh, and put it all together through the hearing. Well, the I, think, I think we could leave that up to John, uh, the building inspector. That's true, too. Um, I mean, I'd like to do everything possible to, you know, keep Mark uh, building. Um, Valerie and Christy, do you have any, uh, would you have uh I mean, would, would you agree that that's reasonable to let him continue on this if he can get approval from John? If the board doesn't have any objection to it, um, you know, you, you certainly um, have discretion here. It's, it's a different color. Um, I'm not sure how much board focused on this when you were looking at it the first time around. So it's really up to the board whether whether you find anything about this that would require further review. Uh, how does the rest of the board feel about it? I'd like to, I'm comfortable with it. I don't think there's any major change here. The roof is, uh, I mean, other than, in, you know, the material change, which I probably wouldn't do, but <laughs> I wouldn't stop you from doing it. Uh, they're both very nice colors. And other than that, we're, he's not changing anything. So I would agree with that. Um, actually, I think it's, uh, I like the idea of having the, um, the green, uh, which is a more subtle 
uh, color in the landscape um, for this usage. So I, um, and the, the vertical and everything else I, I think is fine. You know, pending that John approves that material. So mm -hmm. I also would prefer the other roofing, but um, I wouldn't mind if Mark uses this. <laughs> Tiki bar else from at Mark's house. <laughs> Anyone else from the board have thoughts on that? Allowing going forward with with the out, this outbuilding the bar. I'm okay with that because it's not really a major change to it, and um, I I was looking at that kind of roof too because I we, we were we we're going to do a couple things also in the house. Uh, maybe next year, but um, or maybe later on this year. But uh, and Mark is all right. It, he's right. There's there. Are, um, they have it that you know the fireproof and you know it's not like little palm trees put it up there. So they it's it's very uh, it's, they're very good and obviously they look nice for uh, kind of that that kind of building that he wants to do. So I'm okay. I'm totally okay with that. Okay. Carolyn, you okay with that? Um, I'm certainly okay with the, the color change. Um, I I guess if, if if John Hamilton finds that the material is okay, it's all right with me. But um, it, it I will say it does concern me a little um, about whether you know. I don't know enough about thatched roofs uh, and, and the materials available these days to, to construct them. So um, um, that's, but if everybody else feels comfortable with leaving that decision to John, I guess that's okay. Okay. Um, why don't we uh, take, take a, a board vote on this? Uh, so uh, can I have a motion to allow uh, work to continue and allow these field changes um, on the, the bar structure. Someone want to make a motion? I'll make the motion. I have a second. I'll second it. Okay. Uh, Jim, how do you vote? Yes. Donna? Yes. Carolyn? Yes. Jesus? Yes. And I vote well, uh, yes as well. Um, and again, uh, it's contingent upon uh, John's approving of its uh, fire, uh, you know, fire code appropriateness. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, so hope that helps that helps a little bit, Mark. A little bit. I, I just have one other field change request on the main on the main structure. If it's since we're here, which I can at least get started on the main structure. We were. Um, I was approved with what's called barn style vertical siding because that's what the detached garage had originally. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm looking to change that from barn style because when we really started doing some renderings of it, it really didn't look nice to the house. It almost kind of cheapened the house a little bit because it wasn't a detached building anymore. It's an attached building. So I would love to see if I, I can change that barn style vertical siding. Now we're just talking on the, on the, garage rec room, I'm, I'm leaving it on the shed bar. So I'm only talking about the garage structure. They change it from the barn style vertical sign to regular horizontal clapboard, um, probably hardy plank, but I am still gonna paint it the same kind of red earth tone colors that are the colors of the brick of my current house. So I'm not looking to really introduce another color. I'm still gonna stay with the same color pattern, I, but instead of doing vertical siding, I wanna go to horizontal siding because it looks much nicer with the style of house, the, the Tudor house that I have uh, with the red brick. The, the barn style was not a good decision. Okay, uh, I, I would think that that uh, it's not a field change, but that's a pretty major change. So uh, we, we can take that up uh, at the public hearing um, next month. Um, no, so that's also not a uh, field change. That's a. I, I think since it's on the main building, um, you know, it has to be considered as at the same time as, as the other change. Uh -huh. That's the way I would think about it. Uh, I don't know how uh, other members of the board do. 
I have thoughts on that. You want to throw that elevation up? Mine? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to I mean this. Christy or Valerie, do you have a, any thoughts on this? Well, I mean, I think I, to a larger extent, if it's, I mean, the, the, the project itself was approved with certain materials and all of this needs to re, re, be reflected in the record, right? Because once, you know, John gives his certificate of occupancy, you know, it's supposed to reflect what was approved. So if there are going to be a number of these changes, it probably should all be reflected in a revised um, submission to the ARB, which will get approved next month. I okay, I, I think that's the way it's got to go. So, um, and Mark, um, if uh, you could ask the architect to make some of the renderings uh, in color as well, uh, I think that would really help us uh, understand uh, the changes and the way it'll uh, it's proposed to look. Okie dokie. <laughs> And I would recommend if there are any other additional changes that you're looking to undertake, you know, with your architect, this would probably be the best time to raise those as well yeah. for the meeting. Yeah, I think this was pretty much it, but because um, after this, we were just going to be going on the inside, but okay. Did I ask, um, I, I can't really make out the siding on your house, the existing house. I don't know it's, if it's the way the photograph is. It's, it's brick. It's red brick. Okay. Could you just yeah. um, next time just provide a like a clearer picture of that? Um, um, sure. Uh, yeah. Just, just, Unfortunately, I mean, I mean, sounds, I, everything sounds fine. It's just it. I just if I'm going to look at the, you know, you're talking about matching, uh, you mm -hmm. know, going together better with the house. So I, I would be great to just look at the house. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have a question for Christy and Valerie. Um, procedurally. Um, is it okay for Mark to continue construction on parts of the structure that don't involve these changes? I, I would hope so. Uh, I just wanted to make sure so that Mark could you know, keep working if he can. Chairman, I would agree with that. Okay, Mark, you, you hear that? Yeah, well, I, I appreciate that. I mean, I assume that too, that we could do everything except for the changes we're looking to make, but yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Um, so uh, thank you, Mark. Um, and um, we can move on to the, the, next, uh, uh, the next application. Um, let, let's go to the club fit. Uh, are the, uh, the applicants here? 584 North State Road applicants. Is that Dawn? That should be Dawn. I thought so. Uh, she might be expecting to come on later. Um, nope, I'm here. Oh, having okay. a I was having great. technical difficulties getting my <laughs> mouse to work. It's, yeah. <laughs> okay, great, great. So uh, great, thanks for uh, bringing this up right now. Yeah, Dawn McKenzie from Insight Engineering <laughs> representing Sunrise Solar on this Club Fit project on 584 North State Road. So um, as you recall, we were here last fall, you approved, um, did site plan approval for solar panels on top and equipment on the north side of the building. Um, and so they've actually installed solar panels, installed the, installed the um, equipment on the north side of the building. And they made some field changes based on um, requirements from Con Ed. Uh, they don't always let them know exactly what they're gonna want them to do until they start construction. So if, um, if I could, uh, share my screen if that's all right, and I'll show you what I've got up. Mm -hmm. Let me get the right one up here. So, okay, can you see that? Yes. All right, get my mouse in the right place. So, right in the background. Um, so, on the left is the approved um, layout and landscape plan. On the right is um, the changes to the equipment that were made and what we're um, suggesting as revisions for the planting. So let me just talk through 
um, the field changes that were made relative to the equipment. Generally, it's in conformance with what you approved. Um, what came in differently, the transformer ended up being larger than they had expected. And um, they were also required to install some utility poles and the spacing and the locations were dictated by Con Ed. Um, so this transformer got pushed further over into the corner of the pavement and they were required to put the bollards out generally in um, this location here, further out into um, this area of the pavement as opposed to where they were over here. So that was one change. And the other thing um, that happened was in the approved plan, they were proposing to move. There's, there was a couple of um, existing AC condenser units in this location here, and they were going to relocate them to enable um, installation of the solar equipment. And so they had planned to put them above the retaining wall. And what they ended up doing um, was installing them back here, again, uh, right next to another set of AC condenser units that were already existing at the site. Um, and what that did was it actually opened up some more space behind uh, or above the retaining wall um, and really those are the biggest changes, just more utility poles, larger transformer pushed out a little bit more in this location. The other thing they did was um, they left uh, stumps up in the planting area behind the wall. So we had to shift things around a little bit to work with where the stump locations are. Um, and uh, so we revised the plantings and they tweaked the wall a little bit. So, you know, they put a return in here and put another return over here based on existing conditions to get it to work. If you recall, there's, you know, there was this um, kind of steep mound along the property line, uh, like a, a berm. And in order to maintain the height of that um, and and uh, keep those stumps in place, because I, I, I believe that if they when to take the stumps out, it would have impacted the adjacent property. So um, they were able to leave them in place and they're going to be able to plant around them. So, but they made some adjustments to accommodate the grades and get it to work. And they have a, you know, and the wall was generally supposed to be in this location. That's what was on the plan. It is in the same location. Um, but what they did is they put just a single row of the modular blocks that they used for the retaining wall along this edge here, just to define that edge um, of the plant bed. Um, and really those were the hardscape changes that were made. So um, the so what we did was we came in, noted where the stumps were and we've modified the plantings to go around it. They haven't been installed yet. That's my understanding. We wanted your sign off to make sure that this would be sufficient um, before they went, went ahead and got those planted. Um, but what we're doing is um, we have all of the same plants that were in there before um, and in the same sizes that you approved with the exception of the, um, the Ilex opaca that was going outside the fence. The space that they left, you know, they had cut a stump, one of the trees down back here and left the stump in place, which was what was um, intended, but it didn't leave enough space outside the fence to get a seven foot, the root ball for a seven foot, um, uh, for a seven foot holly in there. So what we did is we reduced the size and to compensate for that, because we had additional space for planting in this area, because the condensers were relocated, um, we added, um, we added some uh, red chokeberry. So there's three red chokeberry proposed um, to be added in here, in addition to everything else is going to be planted. So what we originally had approved was an overall uh, planting of 14 trees and shrubs. And what we're proposing now is 17 trees and shrubs. And, um, and the only change to that aside from the locations of it is we reduced the size of the, um, of the holly from seven foot to five foot height, because it had a smaller root ball. And we added the three um, red chokeberry. So if you want me to run through the locations of where everything is, I can certainly do that. Um, because the transformer got moved, instead of putting one of the arborvitae in this location, um, we 
we put them all together since this wasn't here. So in this location, we have a row of four of those, and this is outside the new fence um, behind the existing equipment, if you remember what the site looks like. Um, we're still putting the, um, the witch hazel in this location where we had originally proposed it. We just shifted things around and reordered them in here to um, work a little bit better and work around the stumps. So we still have the three, um, the, shri the three service berry trees, this one, this one, and that one. Um, and then we have five of the witch hazel in a row in this location. And then in this location here, here and then back in this spot here is where we're putting the uh, red chokeberry. So and that's what we're doing with the landscaping. Uh, do questions? the consultants have any thoughts, comments? Valerie? Uh, no, this, um, this is a field, this would be a field change. Um, and it's also because of particular, uh, particular events that took place out in the and the field and they still will meet um, their uh, requirements for the tree law. Um, and I had Dawn specifically submit, you know, the specific changes that are going to be uh, necessary and we can make that as part of the record. If the board approves the changes and agrees that it's a field change. Okay, Christy, anything, Dan? I agree with Valerie's assessment of it as far as it being the field change. Yeah, I concur as well. This is certainly in keeping with the spirit of what we intended to do there. So, um, so yeah, I, I have no objection to this. Uh, any comments from the board? All seems very reasonable. I'd like to move ahead. I concur with Jim. So I, I just have a question. Was it the Himalayas vernalis last time? Was it was it the vernal witch hazel that you were using? It's the same plant? Yes, we didn't change we didn't change any of the species. It, I don't know how I didn't pick that up. So when for, when you say yeah. that it's a, it's a seven foot um, fence, is that from the you know like the ground level where the plants are gonna be planted? It's seven foot? Um actually I did I didn't say what the height of the fence was, so I'll have to oh. take a look. Oh, it, it does say it on here that's seven feet, but I'm just wondering where that seven feet from is from. Is it from the like the other person's property? Okay, so the fence is installed. The on the berm. The top of the fence would be from finished grade to top of fence. Okay, so yeah, because the 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 do you already have the plants? Is that uh, what you're saying? You know what? I don't know the answer to that. That's okay. a good question. Well, because here's my comment. So um, it's certainly not huge change, and I agree with um, my colleagues on that. But um, the the vernal witch hazel only gets about six feet tall, which wouldn't clear the fence. So if you went with the Virginiana, which is the common witch hazel, that gets a little higher. So it would make sense to have a planting that's going to get a little higher than the fence. Um, so that would be my my comment. Um, on that, and um, my other comment is, is that with the uh, the calculation for replacement of the trees, I I just am really not comfortable with giving um, a one to one uh, replacement value for shrubs. I mean, I think this is excellent that you're doing this. It's going to like increase the bio, um, the habitat, the biodiversity. It's 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 like really good to include the shrubs and all, but I I don't think that um, you know like one inch of a shrub would in any way compare to one inch of the mature trees that were lost. So from an ecological value uh, perspective, um, you know, I, I think it's something that the board should talk about at some time when the, at some point, but for the purpose of moving this project along, maybe we could say, you know, it's a quarter, it's a, it's a quarter of the value of that. Um, because that's just, I think that's just a slippery slope if we start saying, you know, you can take down big trees and then plant shrubs and, and you're giving them the same value. So I, this is, I don't think would add a lot of money to the, um, to the, what you owe for the tree bank, but I definitely think that there should be um, a, additional compensation. So when you have your Chokeberries. 
you know, it just, it would be less, less value. Um, Cause also, you know, right now you're getting the service ferry, which is, you know, 15 to 25 feet. That's, you know, you probably take 10 of those to, to equal a, a larger tree at least. Um, so, I mean, most of these are considered, all of these are considered understory trees and shrubs. Uh, so they, they don't at all compensate for the loss of a large trees. So I think that the compensation should be, um, there should be a little bit more compensation into the tree bank. So that's. So you're suggesting a, a four to one as a, um, uh, a compensation. What would that equal um, in terms of? Yeah, it's it's money. hard because it's such a small amount. But it's, um, you know, like each of those, like the the uh, the thuja, the the only thing that's a really a tree is the ilex opaca, opaca in the the American holly. Um, so I would ask Valerie um, what if you had any thoughts on that. Great. So one th one thing I'd like to point out is. Um, Aside from the chokeberries, all of the rest of these are valued on here the same way they were when it was originally approved. Yes, I realized that, and that was okay. definitely an oversight. So I, I would, I will give you that. You know, so I'm just saying, okay, just and, to set a precedent. Are, I think right. that the chokeberries should not. You know, going forward, I would really like to, you know, not for this project, but going forward, I think that that should be re rethought. Um, but you know at this point in this place with this project, I think that the, the just the choke berries should um, be considered differently in the compensation, which will not change your price that much, that's for sure, because it's such a little amount. But I just okay. think it's setting a precedent. Right, and we are valuing them at less. You are, we are valuing them at less than the others. Um, well, I, I, let me, I, so I, let me look at the, the law um, to see, because I don't know if there's a, a specific there is, definition of what's a tree. Yeah, there is no shrub or, or understory tree, I don't think, in there. But I mean, certainly you should look at that. <laughs> I think it, it just goes by caliper inch. Right. But it specifies trees, doesn't it? Like we're, yeah, me, replacement with trees. Let me look at okay. something else that was also discussed at the previous meeting um, when we got this originally approved um, was about we had specifically there were other areas of the site that the board had been interested in I, I don't remember if it was the planning board or if it was the other board and we had talked about compensating um, other types of things for um, for you know towards what they were going to owe and it was agreed during discussions, you know, like I said, we were approved with this plant list with the exception of the, um, of the, the chokeberry. Um, and the only change that we've made is we've reduced the height and in the plant list. The only change we've made is we've reduced the height of the, um, the one holly by, by two feet and we're providing shrubs to replace for that. So, um, Right, and the holly is going to get large. This the uh, chokeberry is also going to be about six feet high. So I guess I'm just confused as to the um, if you're having a seven foot fence and it's in between two buildings, like what? I'm not really sure the purpose of that. Other, it's good for the environment, you know, for the biodiversity and all. But it's um, I don't know if anyone else has any thoughts about that. You're putting up a screening fence, and then you're going to have the plants that are shorter than the fence. So there's also an overhead wire in the area that runs through. This is existing. Here. Right. Some of, some of your plants are going to be, you know, the, the um, service barrier will be like 15, 20 feet. So mm -hmm. and we put them in the locations where we thought they were least likely to in, be uh, impacted by the overhead wire. Yeah, I'm not I'm not saying it's um, although I do think it should be, you know, higher than the fence if you're I, I don't know what, what the purpose of, of including the fence and the trees if it's not going higher. But does anybody else have any thoughts or on this? It's definitely a small change for sure. Um, so um, 
and we we could in terms of the the bush tree um, non equivalence we might uh, think about um, uh, amending the 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 law um, about it later on if we can you know propose something to the town board to to make a minor change there because uh, it I think it's an important distinction um, for you know, for this application, um, you know, it, it, I, I'm not sure of the change in the value. Uh, Donna, did you, did you make a, uh, a rough calculation? Yeah, but I included all the things that I didn't consider trees. So it's not, um, and that's, you know, with them already being approved, I, I think that's mute. So, right. um, okay. so, so it's just such a, it's a, such a small amount. So it, perhaps it's not even worth worrying about, but I do think that um, I think it should be noted that we're doing it in this project, but I think in future projects, I think that we should definitely rethink it. So we should not take this as a uh, precedent setting, uh, but it brings up a, a, uh, an issue we hadn't considered before, um, which, uh, which is good. So um, uh, are there any other comments from the board or, or consultants on this? Uh, if not, then uh, I would uh, seek a motion to approve uh, these changes uh, as is without any change to the, uh, uh, to the calculation at this point. I'll make that motion. Any second? I'll second. Uh, Donna, how do you vote? I would vote yes. Jim? Yes. Jesus? Yes. Carolyn? Yes. And uh, I vote yes as well. Uh, are there any other issues uh, regarding these changes or anything else with this project that you want to bring up, uh, Dawn? No, not that I'm aware of. This is the only thing I was asked to bring to the to the board tonight. So, okay. okay. Um, if there are no further thoughts, uh, thank you uh, very much. Okay. And thank you all very much. You're welcome. Um, so. If uh, it, let's see, we'll give uh, 540 North State Road one more chance to raise their hand. Uh, I don't see anyone. Do you see anyone, Sandy? I don't see them joining this meeting tonight. I'm not sure what happened. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's uh, move on to the minutes of May 19th. Uh, has anyone, before has anyone you do so, uh, sorry, before you do so, Mr. Chairman, I just want to note uh, for the, I looked at the definition of tree while the final, and it says in the uh, code, it says for the purpose of this chapter, any living woody plant with an erect perennial trunk and a definitely defined crown, formed crown of foliage with a diameter of breast height of six inches or more, unless otherwise specified in 183.5 of the chapter, which uh, allows for, and that's, that, that's, um, that just refers to what can be, what's considered um, the, for regulated activities for a tree removal permit. So that's the only thing that they define as trees, but it really seems to be that definition is focused on what is a tree in order to remove the tree versus what goes in its place. So I think that's something that we'll need to maybe recommend to the town board to consider taking a look at and, uh, you know, refining either the definition of that or clarifying what can be considered a tree in replacement to what is being removed. So, so I just want to note that that adding shrubs and, and these smaller trees into this equation is actually really, really great. So, um, you know, I would like to encourage it, but I don't want to set a precedent where we get someone that's taking down all oak trees and, you know, these large canopy trees and then planting a bunch of lilacs or whatever. Know, so, so great. It would be great. Sense. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, has everyone on the board had a chance to read the minutes of May 19th? Yes. Any changes, uh, comments? No. Okay. No. Uh, can I have a motion to accept the minutes as, uh, as presented? So moved. I'll second. Okay. Uh, Jim, how do you vote? Yes. Uh, Carolyn? Yes. Jesus? Yes. Donna? Yes. And I vote yes as well. Um, I believe that um, 
uh, we uh, need to go into executive uh, committee to discuss a couple matters. Um, can I have a motion to, um, to close the, uh, I guess, close the, the public meeting and go into executive session? Um, any motion? I'll assume we're going into executive session to hear from our uh, council on um, litigation matters. It's for advice of council and legal procedure. Okay. So move. Second. Jim? Yes. Jesus? Yes. Great. I vote yes as well. And so to whatever public uh, may still be on, uh, thank you and, and good night.